Today I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to set up and use B-Gun. So, let's get started. <laughs> Essentially, what it is, is a satellite terminal that you connect to your laptop. As you can see, it's very compact. This one weighs in at about a kilo, so it's not too heavy to carry in your pack. It's powered by a battery that you can see here, but if you're in a location where there is mains power, then of course you can plug it in. Now the first thing to do is to turn it on, like so. Then we need to tell the satellite where we are. To do this, we need to get a GPS fix, and this is done by placing the terminal down flat to give it maximum exposure to the sky. Then the terminal will automatically start to obtain a GPS signal. You can see it says acquiring GPS on the display and then GPS acquired. So once I've acquired a GPS fix, the next thing is to connect to the Inmarsat network. I'm going to point the BGAN terminal to the satellite which covers my location. I have a couple of things to help me here. There's a small compass on the terminal and a beeping sound which tells me how strong the signal is. The quicker the beeping, the better the signal. At this stage, I'm going to connect the BGAN terminal to my laptop. Now, I'm going to use an Ethernet cable, but you could use a USB cable or Bluetooth if you want. It's up to you. You can connect any type of laptop or notebook. To help me complete the setup and manage my BGAN connection, I have a software application on my laptop called BGAN Launchpad, which I'm now going to open. OK, so here you can see the BGAN Launchpad interface with the map, and the first thing the BGAN Launchpad does is to talk to the terminal. Now, to help me fine-tune the pointing, there's a bar on the BGAN Launchpad which indicates the strength of the signal. Now, I'm looking for a signal strength of at least 45, so I'm just going to move the terminal slightly to try and increase the strength of the signal. And, yeah, that's perfect. That should be more than enough to register with the network. Now, I have just clicked on the pane and we're trying to register it with the network. This should take just a few seconds. Um, a little icon has come up and it's attempting to register with the network. Little green arrow pointing at the satellite. A few more seconds. Yep, and that's registered with the network and we're ready to make or receive phone calls and text messages. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how easy it is to make a phone call. What I've got here is a standard handset and I'm just going to plug it in And now I can make a normal telephone call via satellite to anywhere on the planet from anywhere on the planet. And on top of this, I can be on the internet or accessing my email at the same time as being on the phone. So let's do that next. Let's make a data connection and once again, BGAN Launchpad helps me out here. Because right now I just want to show you how to get on the internet, I'm going to select a standard IP data connection. This is what you would usually choose for things like email and internet access. OK, just to show you I'm online, I'm going to open Internet Explorer. And here you go. I'm on the Immersat homepage. So, a world of connectivity opens up with BGAN. Aside from Internet access, just like at home or in your office, you can access any other IP-based application. You can connect securely to your office network, do voice over IP, streaming video, or if you're equipped with a webcam, video conferencing. Video conferencing, of course, means you can communicate face-to-face, -face, conveying so much more than a phone call or email. And it's great if there's something you want to show someone back at head office, say, while you're actually out in the field, like a piece of equipment or a site you're reviewing. So, to demonstrate, I'm going to connect to Lee back at the Immersat office and say a quick hello. To do this, I'm going to use a common video application. Now, Lee has the same application running back at the office, and because I already have a data connection up and running, I simply have to open the application and dial Lee's number. Here we go. Hello? 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 Hello
Hello. Hello, Lee. How's it going? Good, thanks, Jamie. How's it going? Yeah, fine. Bye-bye. Bye. So, that's video conferencing. Bit short and sweet, but you get the idea. And of course, last but not least, there's good old email. And attachments are no problem either. Your choice of big end terminal really depends on what you're likely to use it for. As you can see here, all are relatively compact and easy to use. The smaller terminals are ideal for single users who frequently travel and just need standard phone, email and internet connections. While the larger terminals enable higher data speeds and are ideal for a small team to share using a wireless LAN. All terminals can be used indoors and out and they're certainly robust enough to work in tough environments. So there you go, a range of terminals for use on the pause, if you like. But BGAN has also been adapted for use on the move. Up there, there's an example of one of the BGAN antennas that you can put on a vehicle. Along with an in-car terminal, it lets me, or ideally a colleague in the passenger seat, do all the same things as the terminals we've just been looking at, but while we're driving along in the car. So if time really is tight and I need to get on the road, but I also need to get those photographs, drawings or videos back to base ASAP, now I can. And that's about it. So if your job takes you off the beaten track and you're looking for secure, dependable voice and broadband access that's truly portable and quick to set up and easy to use, then Imarsat BGAN is for you. It's all you need. Now there really are no excuses for not being connected wherever you are on the planet. <laughs>